It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Hello, neighbors. Okay, that's my intro. The family and I went and watched A Wonderful Day in the Neighborhood last night. The story of Mr. Rogers. And I I'm not going to ruin the movie for you, but no matter what, go watch this movie with your family. Don't go alone. Go watch it with your family. It's pure magic. I, I grew up watching Mr. Rogers neighborhood uh, it aired from 1968 to 2001 33 years fred rogers freaking an american icon a world icon i'm sure they're played all over the world the thousands of episodes that he made um i'll be honest it's been a while since i thought about mr rogers but tom hanks did a brilliant job and we need more I, we need more of we need more people watching this movie we need more mr rogers in our life um i cried several times the best kind of tears man there's a subway scene where i just cried with awesome emotion and i thought about people in my life mentors accountability partners that that kind of have a little Fred Rogers in them. My dad, uh, my you know, several other mentors and, and accountability partners in my life. Just um, there's a beautiful part in the movie where Joanne Rogers, his wife, sh she's uh, this gentleman that's interviewing her. I think they're on the, the front doorstep of their house, and he's. The movie's in large part about him, but he, she says, he's writing an article about Fred, and she says, please don't make Fred out to be a saint. That was very important for her, and, and, and the, the writers, producers, directors, Joanne made it crystal clear to them, and, and she said, I, I don't want you to make him out to be a saint, because that makes it, everything that he does seem unattainable to everyone else, and I don't want that. Fred works at what he does very hard every day. So Fred Rogers was not a saint. Joanne didn't want you to think of him as a saint. He worked at it very, very hard every day. And it's, you know, though, we have people in our life, and this movie has reinvigorated me. My, my, I, I've talked about my dad very many times on my videos, and how he is just, he's pure magic, and uh, he's just, he just lifts people up. He's my real life Fred Rogers, and I try to be more like him every day as I fail forward. Um, and, and Fred talked about things that he would do. You know, he said he would get frustrated. He would, you know, you pound clay. Or and, and something that he did daily was he loved to play the piano, and he said, you know, he would pound the low keys. Like just on the low keys. And I, I, I love that. And I, I'm going to read... A few things from an article that I found this morning as I got up and I was thinking about all things Fred. Seven things from Mr. Rogers that can help Americans be neighbors again. It's okay to feel whatever it is that we feel. But our feelings aren't an excuse for bad behavior. He said that on the Senate floor actually. Uh... Other people are different from us and just as complex as we are. It's our responsibility to care for the most vulnerable. It's important to make time to care for ourselves. Fred exercised. Uh, he didn't smoke. He was, uh, he was a vegetarian. I'm not promoting being a vegetarian, but uh, he just he took time for himself. You know, you hear me say, be a little selfish with your time. Fred made sure that he took a little time each day to take care of his machine so he could live a fruitful life into his mid-70s serving others. And that's exactly what he did. He's, he's one of the most, he's, he is a true hero uh, to our country and to this planet. And number seven, we are neighbors. So Fred Rogers, that's, that's what the, the, the message is about 
today, um, you know, I, I, I it really, the movie really invigorated me to, to try to do more of what I'm trying to do now. I, I you know, there, there's a lot of hate out there. I work with, I work with certain friends. I consider you all friends and neighbors, even people that do are doing a lot of hateful things. We see it on social media all the time. And people, in, instead of taking a gracious approach to deal with things that really need to be dealt with, so, so dealt with. Sometimes you're you're on the right path. You're, you're trying to deal with something and, and, and trying to make change in certain areas, but you can be a real, you can be very hateful with the way you deal with it. Fred was, and I've, I've done so much Fred, Fred Rogers studying this morning. I spent several hours watching videos and reading and it took me back to my childhood and he was so present and in the moment when when people were struggling maybe they were doing something wrong they were really struggling with something in their life fred would immediately see something good and he would he would start with the good that he saw it's like he's being interviewed by this guy that he knew had a lot of troubles in his life and he said it must be hard you know it must be very challenging for you to think up all these amazing, great questions that you're asking me and that you ask all the people that you interview and all the time that it takes for you to create such amazing documentation of these interviews. So he, he, he found something positive in every situation. And that doesn't mean that we don't talk about the negative. We don't hit the areas that, um, that need to be hit and need to be addressed. But there's always, there's always something good that we can find in most situation so a lot of people dive in with the hate and the anger and the frustration they just vent radically right out of the gate when you can bring so much peace to situations and and Fred was known as the great communicator to, to kiddos to children that's what he devoted his life to doing and and man it really relates to us adults uh, kids kids would stop what they were doing and they he was a master puppeteer, and they were, um, God, it, should take, it took me back to my childhood. It was so amazing. But Fred was great at talking with kids and communicating with kiddos, and, and really and truly, we're just big grown-up kids. Um, we're, we're just kiddos that have gotten a little taller and a little bigger, and our brains are just um, a little more developed. And in, many, in many cases, that development causes us trouble because we need to be more like Fred. We, we really do. And I love Fred Rogers. It's, I'm, I'm, I can already tell I'm gonna devote the next several weeks just reading and studying as much as I can about Fred Rogers. So I want you to go watch the movie with your family. It's pure, pure magic. We need everybody to see this movie. Enjoy the subway scene. I'm confident many of you will cry just like I did. I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. This is, uh, it's a, it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and I want each and every one of you to be my neighbor. Uh, you don't live next door to me, but you are my neighbor. I want to be more neighborly to you. I want us to be more neighborly to each other. So won't you be my neighbor? I love y'all. Happy Thanksgiving.